Let's get married. Are you serious? My name is Minamo Mizutani. I'm just a regular employee you can find anywhere. I'm currently being proposed to by a girl. You're not saying that you actually like me. Huh? Are you some kind of stupid or something? What are you talking about? Apparently she doesn't actually like me. Her name is Shigura Hibachi. I came out to have a matchmaking section with her today. She's apparently some kind of elite at a big-time corporation or something. I'm being pushed by my parents to go see a lot of people and go to various matchmaking sessions. I'm sure they just want me to hurry up and get married. Why is that? Well, my parents have romance brains. Romance brains? They think that getting married is the highest level of happiness that you could possibly experience in life at all. They've known each other from when they were in kindergarten and apparently are each other's first crush, too. <laughs> getting married to your first crush. You know, it actually sounds really nice to be able to get married to your first crush dating back to kindergarten. But I'm not interested in getting married at all. Definitely not interested in any kind of romance, either. I think that if you have the time to be doing that, then you should just hurry up and try to get promotion so that you can have a lovely life. Huh? Because of the human connections? No, the money. Uh, but they say that religion actually makes your life have meaning or something. That's what the old lady next door says when she brings me a flyer every day. That's the advertisement. She just wants you to join her religion. I was planning on joining her religion tomorrow. You should stop that. It's sketchy and she's probably going to milk you for every penny you've got. But my family has already joined the religious group. So it's too late to save you then. Back on topic. Whatever the case, I don't want to get married. But every time I have to turn down each and every person, it's literally just a huge waste of my time. Which means that I want you to have a contractual marriage with me. A contractual marriage? In other words, it's just a business deal. I don't want to have any more matchmaking sessions with anyone else. So, on the surface, I'm going to have a wedding with you and be your wife. In return, I will do my best to make your dreams come true as well. Of course, any physical desires are left out of that. I'm not that cheap. <laughs> How expensive are you? Is that really the point you're curious about? I see. I think I understand. She's got a situation that she needs to handle, which means that it's now left up to my answer. To be honest with you, I don't want to get married either. I have a trauma. I think it was when I was still in elementary school. I was on the toilet taking care of business when... I looked up and saw a woman that I had never seen before just looking down on me. She didn't do anything or budge at all. She just quietly watched down on me. I was terrified. On top of that, she really turned out to be some kind of random trespassing woman. I learned about this lady, and she apparently thought that the young boy that she had walked by was really cute, so she couldn't help herself. That's terrifying! I think that's probably when I started feeling a little bad with women, as I have trauma with one. Women are so scary. I became phobic of women. I'm not as scared of them as I used to be, but I'm still not good with them. Honestly, I don't want to get married, but just like her, my parents have been pushing me to get married to someone. I'm sure that they'll continue to push me to go to these meetings with women. Thinking about that now, I guess we have similar interests in mind. Maybe it's a little better for me to just have this contractual marriage with her. So what do you say? Do we have an accord? Understood. Let's do business then. You have a deal. Very well. Consider it done. Looking forward to working with you. That's how we decided to get married to each other. Oh my god, your hands are so sweaty! Ooh, disgusting! I'm sorry, I'm just a little bit nervous. 
I'm still a little scared to talk to a woman face to face, just a little bit. And that brings us to... This is the house that we're going to be living in, starting today. Don't mind the respectful manners or anything either. We're the same age, and more than that, I mean, we're married now. I think that I can say the same thing to you, Shigure-san. It's more of a habit for me. I see. Okay, well, I'm gonna let my hair down a bit. I can't believe that I'm gonna be living under the same roof with just this woman. I think that if you told me that a little while ago, I would have collapsed out of fear. I'm going to use this room right over here. You just feel free to use whichever room you feel comfortable with. Are you sure? I won't be in this house for much of the time anyway. It's fine. Work or something? Yes, I want to work harder and get promoted as fast as I possibly can. Uh-huh. She really wants to get promotions, doesn't she? By the way... Yes? This is a contractual marriage. Please do not make the mistake of thinking there is any physical chemistry between us. If you make any kind of move suggesting that you are making a move on me, then I will have you tossed out in a heartbeat. Make a move on you? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I will absolutely not lay a finger on you. I'm terrified of women anyway. I really hope you're being serious about that. All right, it's time to kick off the new life. I'm going to live with Shigure-san from now on. It's a contractual marriage, but I should get along with her enough to at least be able to have a bare minimum of communication. Ugh, but I gotta live with a woman that I barely know in a small house for a long time? Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. I should get to know her at least a little bit. Which means the first thing that I should do is... Shigure-san! Well, what is it? I'm still in the middle of unpacking all my stuff. Sorry, I was just wondering if you were interested in grabbing a bite for lunch is all. I guess it is a good time for lunch. So, I kind of cooked a meal for us, so... I see. Well, thank you very much. But you don't need to worry about any of that. We just have a contractual marriage, so we can eat separately, okay? Uh, okay. However, if you've already cooked us the meal, then I will happily indulge myself this time. I do not want it to get any colder. Great. Hmm. Wow, you are actually a great chef. Yeah, but it's not like I started cooking and got good at it because I wanted to, though. What do you mean by that? Well, that was right around mm, elementary school. It was during the field day, during middle school, and one of the girls actually came by and uh, made me a little rice ball. It was so good and the salt was perfect. I asked her how she made it because I was curious and she said that she had collected her sweat, dried it, and then used that as the salt. It was a sweat rice ball. After that, I stopped being able to eat other people's homemade cooking, so I had to learn how to cook on my own. Y you um, you've been through some stuff, haven't you? What about you, Shigure-san? Do you cook or anything? Yes, I do. You have to treat your body as an investment. You must always treat it to the best nutrients possible to make sure that it is able to achieve the highest possible performance at any given time. I also do my best to try to get the best flavor I can. So I'm pretty picky about how things taste. I am curious to see if your cooking is good enough to satisfy me. Huh. She's got quite a bit of pride, I thought to myself. All right. Thank you for this. Is really good, isn't it? Huh? Did you just cut yourself off? Wh what is this egg roll? It's somehow better and tastier than the egg roll that I make. But it's just an egg roll. How did you make it taste so much better? Um, Shigure-san? I'm not losing yet. I haven't lost. The miso soup. The miso soup that I've made has to taste better than the miso soup you've made. It's hot, so take your time. It's all good. 
It's hot good! Hot, hot good! <laughs> Great. I lost a miso soup too! Oh, but there's still the rice. There's no way that I will lose to your rice. Here goes! Go for it! Mm, it's so good! You really gotta thank the farmers in this country for providing us with such a great crop. But the fact that you're using the full potential of the rice this much? Who are you really? Huh? I'm just a regular guy. Uh, th there's no way that I could lose like this. Huh? After that... I'm going to be cooking today. I can't eat food that other people have cooked for me, so you really don't have to. Oh, yeah. But why are you suddenly trying to cook for me? Yesterday you said you wouldn't be coming home, but you actually came back home at a fairly normal time. It's because I've just been consistently losing to you and I don't want to keep it up. What? Shigura-san started to try to beat me at every chance that she got. Apparently she was an extremely sore loser, so she's always trying to compete with me over everything. I tried the laundry faster than you, didn't I? Oh, but you've got to stop it with some clothespins or they're going to go flying away. Oh. Oh dear. For some reason, she would compete with me over who could put out the clothes faster than me. I don't know why she's such a sore loser, but I just want to get along with Shigure-san, so I don't want things to be gloomy or have any bad blood. I should just let her win, and... You just held back, didn't you? Huh? You just held back, didn't you? Yes. I tried to let her win, but then she scolded me. I thought to myself, man, she really is kind of a handful. A few days went by. <sighs> Why can I not win at all? Shigure-san was all upset and worked up about not winning. You really are able to do everything, aren't you? But me, I'm always half-assed when I do things around the house. I'm just some breadcrumbs left over from the main course. You don't have to make yourself sound so bad like that. Shigure-san was all kind of depressed. Depressed. She even said it out loud. Shigure-san, why are you so intent on making everything some kind of competition? That's not entirely true. I just want to be the perfect person. Perfect? There's someone that I've really admired. That person is my older sister, and my older sister has always been able to do everything perfectly. I guess she's literally a perfect superhuman. She would master anything that she's never done in her life within three days, and she's always won some kind of medal when it comes to sports. During contests, she would win awards like it was nothing, and I just wanted to be a little bit like her too. You wanted to be like her too? Well, my older sister completely changed after she got married. She was extremely resistant to things like marriage. I finally understood that there was a good chance that it was because of her older sister. My older sister got married and, and became a slob. This is my older sister now. She seems very plump. Her body weight is well above 170 pounds now. She used to be chosen as Miss University in college and had an incredible body and even worked a bit as a model, too! You could never guess that by looking at her now. I mean, I guess that's just how people are when they get older, huh? I never wanted to see my older sister like that, though! You're like a weird fan that doesn't accept change. But she's married now and she seems to be incredibly happy. She claims that her life now is much better than her glorious and prestigious past. I couldn't believe it at all. So I wanted to become like my older sister. So I wanted to prove to her that it was all just fake. So I wanted to become like my older sister, the perfect superhuman. But it didn't work. I'm not a perfect superhuman. I'm so much more clumsy compared to her and, and no matter what I do, I can't win. 
I lost to you too, but there's no way that I could prove anything to her. I see. That's it? Just I see? Was I supposed to say something there? I mean, you could say something like happiness is different for different people, or that you shouldn't be trying to gauge someone else's happiness based by your own standards or something along those lines. I figured you'd say something like that. We're just clients in a business marriage. I don't think that I should say anything to you about your business no matter what you do. But if you want any help, then don't hesitate to ask me because I will help you. That's my role as someone who's in a contractual marriage with you, right? I'm not your enemy. I'm your ally. Uh, think you. I felt like I got along just a little bit more with Shigure-san after that. A week after I started living with Shigure-san. We're married, so, um... Would you want to, like, maybe maybe sleep together every once in a while? Huh? Huh? Uh, okay, then, um, good night. What? Hey, can anyone explain to me what's going on right now? <sighs> <sighs> My wife is sound asleep next to me. If you take that sentence and break it down, it's an incredibly normal sentence, but... Shigure-san and I are in a contractual marriage. It's not like we fell in love with each other. But what is going on here? I don't know. I have no idea what Shigure-san is thinking about at all. But if there's one thing that I can say... <laughs> I'm so freaking scared to sleep next to a woman! Uh, if I think about it now, I don't need to be so freaking honest and sleep in the exact same bed as her. I've got it, I'll just sleep on the ground. Yeah, that's what I'll do. <coughs> oh, ah, oh. Huh? What's going on? Crap, I woke her up. <laughs> Sorry, I, I must have been dreaming and I fell off the bed. I see. You must move around quite a bit in your sleep. Oh man, I'm so sorry about that. Silly me. Okay, then, um, here. Huh? Come back into bed, it's cold. What is it? I'll go now. Okay. <laughs> if I think about it now, I, I could have just said no. But if I say no, it's going to be really awkward, right? And we can't get along, and Shigure-san is coming to me to try to get closer to me. I don't know what she's thinking or why, but I want to get along with her, so I don't think this is a bad thing. But in any case... I don't think I could sleep at all tonight. <sighs> the next morning... Good morning. Morning. I couldn't sleep at all that night. On top of that, Shigure-san would roll around and then cling onto my back when she was half asleep. A lot happened, but in conclusion, I'm exhausted. W whatever the case, I was able to get over it. I think I'm gonna knock out for today. Shall we sleep together tonight, too? What? Is there a problem with that? Uh, not at all. I started to become chronically sleep-deprived. I feel like Shigure-san is acting a little strange recently. She seems a little... softer around the edges? Alright, I'm gonna head out to work now. Oh, okay. Have a great day at work. A uh, goodbye kiss. Huh? Just kidding. I'm sure you have to get going right away. Make sure you're not late at all. Have a good day. How playful of her. 
shall we go on a date next weekend? Huh? Oh, come on, you don't need to be that surprised, do you? We're literally married. It's normal to go on dates, don't you think? Shigura-san is just acting so strange recently because this is almost as if she literally likes me or something. But wait. No, no, no. When we came here, she was basically saying that she would literally murder me if I did anything to her when we came here. There's no way that she would fall for me. It's an impossibility. This is all just a misunderstanding. Ah, the miso soup that you make is always the most perfect miso soup. I want you to continue making me miso soup for the rest of my life. I've got her heart through her stomach. I got it. Maybe my cooking was just so incredibly perfect to her that she just fell for me. No, no, that's impossible. Even if Shigure-san actually had that kind of emotion towards me, I'm not going to be able to actually reciprocate any of those feelings back to her. I'm still really bad with women to the point where I freeze up if she touches me, so... Uh, you've got a little rice on your cheek, you silly little man. What? Huh? Ah, well, would, would you look at that? I was just kind of out of it. Oh, hey, Shigura-san, you need to go soon or you're going to be late getting to work. I think that you're trying to change the subject now, but you definitely just moved away from me trying to take the rice off your face. Did I do something to you that might have offended you? Uh, no, it's not that. It's just my trauma. Trauma? Yes, that was when I was in elementary school. How many traumatic episodes did you experience when you were in elementary school? There was some old lady in the neighborhood that I had never seen before, and she told me that she would take it off my face because there was something on it. Then she got closer and grabbed my cheeks so that I couldn't move before I noticed her face was closing in on my face. Huh? She kissed you! No, someone showed up right before she got to me, so the old lady backed away from me, but... I remember the eyes that she had in her face when she was looking down on me. It was like she was looking down on prey, and... Ever since, I just reactively back away from hands that come towards my face. I think there are one too many landmines around your history. I think so too. Which is why I'm not able to actually reciprocate any feelings back to Shigure-san. You really can't blame me. Afterwards, Shigure-san continued to try to get closer to me, but I continued to back away from her. I wanted to get along with her, but for some reason I couldn't get closer beyond a certain point. Actually, I kind of had an idea of why, but... Then she said that she wanted to talk to me, so she invited me into the living room. Please take a seat. Okay. I feel like I was just called up to the teacher's office to have a talk with the vice principal. You know why I called you up to the office, right? No, I can't say I do, Ms. Vice Principal. Who are you calling Vice Principal? <sighs> Crap, I let it slip. You... you're avoiding me, aren't you? Uh, uh what? What is it? If you don't like me, then I just want you to be honest with me and tell me that you don't like me. If you're going to just sit around and keep talking bad about me behind my back, I'm going to get upset. If you don't like me, then tell me to my face right here. There's nothing that I don't like about you, Shigure-san. I think you're very clear-cut and dry. It might seem like you're kind of cold, but the truth is that you're very hard-working. Huh? Uh, oh, uh... You're always practicing cooking those egg rolls when you think that I'm not looking. I noticed. Huh? Huh? You're always working hard to try to strive to be better. I really admired and, and am moved by how much drive you have. Um, wait, wait, hang on. And besides, I think that you're always quick to compliment others when they do something good, too. You always compliment me when I cook something. 
I think that you're a very wonderful and beautiful person, Shigure-san. There's no way that I would ever dislike you. you you're complimenting me too much. Uh, you're going to embarrass me and, and make me blush. Sorry. Well, if you're so into me like that, then why do you avoid me? Well, because I'm not good with women is why. Huh? huh? Wait, did I not tell you? No, you didn't tell me about that. Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't tell her. The reason that I agreed to this contractual marriage is because I don't want my parents to keep bringing me these new women to have matchmaking sessions with. The reason being... Because you're not good with women? Yeah, I have a trauma from the past. I was right around when I was... It's fine, don't worry. I think I've heard it all at least three times over. Oh, really? I think that based on what I heard, I definitely think it's normal for you to be traumatized, sure. But then when we were sleeping in bed together... Shigure-san? I'm sorry, I just, um... I didn't think about how you felt about the whole thing at all. Oh, it's totally fine. I don't blame you since you didn't know. I really don't mind, so don't worry about it. <sighs> Shigure-san's face was a sad little emoji. Shigure-san. Shigure-san, we need to leave the house soon or... Shigure-san had completely lost all motivation towards everything after that. Welcome home, Shigure-san. <sighs> She's just always upset about something. She was so bad about not having enough drive and energy that she was told by her company to take off and rest a little bit. Let's just take a break and relax some, okay? Just recuperate. Ah! Oh man, she's finally gotten to the highest point of size. This is all because of me, right? Ah! I can't possibly bear seeing Shigure-san like this anymore, but I don't know what I can say to help her out either. But I don't want her to continue to be sad and depressed like this either. I've got it. I think that there is something that we can do to solve this problem. Shigure-san! Uh-huh. There's something important that I need to talk to you about. Divorce? No, why did you think divorce? Uh, because... No, it's not divorce. There's just something that I want you to help me out with. Help you out? Yeah. It's for me to get over my negative feelings towards women. I don't want to be afraid of them anymore. Huh? You remember early on when we had just gotten contractually married? I said that if you ever needed any help, then don't hesitate to tell me because I'd help you out. So I want you to help me out this time. I mean, sure, but why? Why are you suddenly asking for help like that? Because I just made you really depressed and upset and I don't like that. So I wanted to work hard and try to get over the bad feelings I had for women to make it so that you're not upset and sad. So I want you to... I want you to continue living life with me under the same roof. Okay. We only just started living together, but I felt like married life with her is only going to continue to get better. Bonus. I want to try your cooking, Shigure-san. But, but you've got some trauma. I want to get over all these traumas, you know? We're husband and wife, and I don't want to be the guy that can't eat his own wife's cooking. Honey. Shigure-san, can I please have some egg rolls? Okay. If you're that insistent that I cook something for you, I will do it. 
Thank you. But please don't push yourself. If you want, you can just put it in your mouth and then spit it out, okay? <laughs> I won't do that. That's horrible. All right, here goes. Thank you. <laughs> Uh... I'm sorry. I guess it was just a little too soon for me.